Um, I'm not a nutritionist. I'm not a dietitian. I'm not a trainer. I'm not a doctor. What's up, guys? It's your girl, Marche. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, and welcome back to another all season. It is finally the day. Today, I'm going to tell you guys about my whole weight loss journey. Um, I'm basically going to answer a few questions, not from you guys, but questions that I would ask if I wanted to know about somebody's weight loss journey. And I'm basically going to give you all the details. I'm going to try to keep it short because I really don't want to make a super long video. So, let's go ahead and start. So... When did I start? And start date was August 23rd of 2021. Um, how did I lose the weight? Um, I basically went into a calorie deficit. If you don't know what that means, here's what a calorie deficit means. Um, basically, I went and found this online calculator. I put in all my information and I got what my calorie budget should be. And I tried to basically stay within that calorie budget so serious with it but i used it to kind of have get an idea of how much calories i was intaking exercise so basically i started exercising only did cardio so it this app called the women's fitness you know workout at home app this is it right here i started as small as seven minutes and now i can do well over an hour in workouts so what exercises i do um, like I said, I basically only do cardio and I st stuck with doing cardio from the start of my journey in 2021 until 2023. And <laughs> literally this year in March is when I started uh, doing strength, like weight workouts and stuff like that. But I mostly only did cardio. So how much weight did I lose? Um, I lost a total of 40 pounds. How did it take? For me personally, it took about maybe, I want to say five months to lose the first 20 pounds, like the total loss of the 40 pounds. So it's so now let's get into some um, diets that I've tried within this weight loss journey. I'm telling you ones that worked out and some that did not really work out for me. So the first thing that I did and I stuck to for probably the whole first year of my weight loss journey was a intermittent fasting. Um, here's what that means in case you don't know. Basically, I did the 16-8, which is 16 hours of a fast. And 8 will be the window I have to eat. I have 8 hours so that I can eat what I want. And I stop after the 8 hours ends. Another diet that I tried within this weight loss journey in the beginning, I tried the OMA challenge, which is the one meal a day challenge. Here's a little bit more information in case you want to know. So basically, I did seven days of this challenge, and I basically chose the time of the day that I wanted to eat one huge meal. Basically, I kind of incorporated breakfast, lunch, and dinner all into one meal. So I did that for seven days, and I did not exceed the seven days because it just wasn't a diet I could stick to. But I did want to try it because I love experimenting and trying new things. One thing I want to get into is how often I worked out every single day i was working out every single day of course you don't have to do that you have to choose a workout schedule that works out with your lifestyle but for me i could work out daily because i didn't have anything else to do so i worked out daily starting off and now i work about work out about four or five days a week so now we're going to get into the numbers it's really not important what's on the scale um but the you know the little differences that you see in the way your clothes fit or how you feel is it's more important but just for curiosity because i know you guys will have because i will have i started at 215 pounds and now i am about around 174. i want to now get into little things that kind of could have helped me on my journey basically i don't eat that much fast food so I only eat fast food maybe once or twice every two weeks. Other than that, all the foods that I eat are at home. I don't drink anything but water. And that is preference. Like you really don't have to just drink water. But for me, I just found that I could not and did not want to finish sodas or juices. So I kind of just stuck to drinking water. Every now and then I would drink some orange juice because that's just my juice of choice. 
But other than that, I do only drink water. And I drink about maybe four or five bottles a day. The thing that I did on my journey was I um, completely cut out candy <laughs> at some point. It would be to the point where I could eat like an entire bag of sour gummy bears or gummy worms, which were easily 600 calories. I would um, experience the sugar high and the sugar crash. So I just decided at the beginning of this year to kind of cut out candy. And I did that for about two months. And just as of recently, I just introduced candy back into my diet. So, um, and I can eat less of it now. So I'm really happy that I did cut out candy at some point because I was able to reintroduce it and have a better relationship with it. Like I said, I did start out on the app, but then I started working out with influencers. Influencer I really recommend to you guys is Grow With Joe. Um, she def definitely had a big part in my uh, weight loss journey. She probably helped lose probably 15 to 20 pounds just by doing her workout. So I highly recommend you work out with Girl With Joe and you start with her beginner playlist if you're just starting. Uh, now, the last thing I want to get into is some lessons that I learned and I would love for you guys to take away from this video. Um, number one being food is fuel, guys. So what I mean when I say that is think of your body as a vehicle, as a car. Um, it's always running all these miles just to make sure you're breathing, to make sure you're okay. Um, body's always running its miles. So look at food like a way to fuel, in other words, fill up your vehicle's gas tank. So food is fuel. Eat what you want in moderation. The whole food portion of this, because I know that that can definitely be triggering for a lot of people because some people have really unhealthy relationships with food. But for the whole food part, guys, I ate what I want in moderation because that simply works for me. Obviously, you can change your diet completely. What you want in moderation, y'all. You, you don't have to cut anything out. There's really no good or bad food. Consistency is key. So this workout journey, you going into it, it will not work. You will not get your results. You will not see results. You will not even get close to results if you're not consistent with it. So meaning don't start today because you're getting motivated from this video and just give up tomorrow. You have to be consistent. You have to change your lifestyle. It's not just for the moment. It's not just for that summer body or the summer snatch. It's, it has to be a lifestyle. You have to make it a lifestyle for it to last and for you to actually get results and progress. So please be consistent. Um, another thing I want you guys to know, because I really struggle with this myself, one bad day, guys, would not mess up your whole entire journey. It would not mess up your progress. So meaning if you have a day where you eat just way too much or you feel like you ate way too much, it would not um, mess up your progress. It would not um, make you gain a lot of weight. Um, it takes 3,500 calories for one pound. So you being over 1,000 for one day will most likely have little to no effect. So just know that one bad day is not going to mess it up. As long as you get right back on track tomorrow and do better tomorrow, um, you'll still see your results at the end of the day. The thing I want you guys to do is please, when you go through this journey, surround yourself with positivity. Surround yourself with positive people, positive things that make you feel good. Because this journey is going to be hard. It's not going to be by no means easy. So being around a positive environment and people who love you really does help you. Another thing I want you guys to take away from this is to exercise, please. You don't have to do really intense exercise. You don't have to do an hour or even 30 minute exercises a day. You can do as small as 10 to 15 minutes. Um, it's really important just to get your body moving. Um, just meaning don't lay down or sit down all day. Just make sure you get up and you move your body around because that is a form of exercise, just simply walking. So find an exercise that works for you and that you can do consistently to help you on this weight loss journey. The thing I want you to do is to love yourself. It's super important. You can take care of yourself. You can have a um, body care day. You can go out and buy something for yourself. You can look in the mirror and compliment yourself. Just please love yourself because sometimes all you're going to have is yourself.
Another thing I want you guys to do is do your research and gain knowledge before even attempting to go on a weight loss journey. The last thing I want you to do is to have a horrible outcome with trying to do this weight loss thing. I want you to make sure you're able body and you're healthy enough to do these things to lose weight and that you're healthy enough to lose weight in the first place because too much it's at one time can be too much. It can be too much. Too much can be too much. So please make sure that you do your research. Make sure you're healthy and able body to go on this journey and do these things if you want to try to do some of the things that I did. But just make sure you do your research and you figure out this whole weight loss journey thing before you even attempt it. Really first in my life, but the last thing I want to tell you because I want this to be the last thing that's in your mind when you click off of this video. Please pray. You're going to go through a lot of ups and downs on this journey and your downs are going to be way down. So a way to help you through it is just for you to pray about it and you just Pray for help and pray to get over some of the obstacles that are going to be in your way on this journey, some of the bad days. It will really help you just to know a higher power wants you to win as much as you want to win. So um, just pray your way through this journey and it will be so much easier. With that being said, guys, that is how I lost my weight. That was my weight loss journey. I wanted to keep it pretty short. I didn't want to make a super, super, super long video. And I wanted to give you guys a place to start if you came here just looking for a place to start. But yeah, um, I'm no means professional. So please do not take what I say and run with it. Take what I say and walk with it. And you can just take it in your mind and still do your own research because I am just sharing my journey. I'm sharing what helped me to lose the weight and what I hope will help you lose the weight. Of course, you know, everything is not for everybody. So just make sure you find a way that works out for you and that you do like to do. So with that being said, hope you guys did enjoy this video. I hope it did help you gain some form of knowledge on this whole weight loss thing and just for you to know how I did it. So yeah, I love you guys and I'll see you in the next awesome YouTube video. I also do want to mention that this is the app that I use to track my calories. So yeah.